Good day everybody, welcome to this instruction video on how to make a dimension field within document capture. My name is Martijn Holteman and uh, I'll be hosting this uh, short presentation for you today. If you've got any questions regarding this, please contact us by email or contact your local partner. So today I'm going to show you how to add a dimension field within document capture. This works from uh, on NAV or on Business Central, it doesn't matter. Uh, it will work on every version uh, where you can use document capture in. So I'll start by pressing recognize fields and create a template uh, within our system. As all of you know, document capture will try to fill in as much as it can for you. And um, I will not go through that today. I'm going to add a template field and I do this by going into the template card. In the template card, you'll see the tab called fields. And in tab called fields, we're going to press new. So we're going to add a dimension field and you can add any dimension that you have within your system. It doesn't have to be global dimension one and two. It can be all of them. The code is where you type in the code of the dimension. Let's say you got a dimension called area code. Don't type in here area code. Just type in the code that you have in your dimension fields. In my case, that's called area. Then the field name, you can name it any way that you like. I will call this area code. And then if we look down here to data type, you will have to switch this to lookup because we're going to extract data from within your system. If I select lookup, then a new field will open with source tables and fields. And here you will define which field you want to capture the data from. You can open it up and search through it. I know out of my head that it will be 349, which is dimension value like this. The source field you transfer that to code and then number of source table filters. You will select this one and with dimension code, you will fill in the dimension code area. Otherwise it will show you every uh, dimension that you have in your system. I press OK and then it's done. I can tick the box required. If I tick that box, the, the finance team always have to fill in an area code before they can register the document. So I will leave it blank for now and I can adjust this per template that I make. I will press OK and then it will be added over here. I can move it up a little bit, maybe next to the general ledger account like this and I press OK. As you can see, nothing has happened. So let me press recognize fields and refresh the template. And now I will see my field area code is added. I'm using area code as an example. You can use any dimension again, whatever you have. So how can the finance team select an area code? We can do that in three different ways. One, you can go in every time and select a dimension code, maybe area code number 30 or 40. That is method number one. If I select that, then document capsule will fill it in. However, if you receive a new invoice, and I try to replicate that now by pressing recognize fields, you can see that it's blank again because we didn't put in a fixed value or something else. We can also work with fixed values. That's method number two. If you want to add a fixed value, you type in the dimension code that you would like over here. If I type in 30, it will now always default the area code for Lewis Home Furniture to area code number 30. I can check this by pressing recognize fields. And as you can see, it will fill it in for now. I'll remove that for now because now I want to go to method number three, which is that document capture will dynamically search the invoice for you. So as an example, let's say the project determines which area code it will go to. What you do, you select with your left hand mouse button the word project and with my right hand mouse button the word Deerfield. As you can see, document capture did not fill anything in because we do not have a dimension code Deerfield. What I can do, this is one of our functionalities called field translations. I can then type in, if you see dear field, then that will be area code number 40 within our system. If I press recognize fields now, document capture will look to this field and will try to fill in the area code for you. And of course you can make multiple uh, translations. Project Continia is area code number 30. Project uh, Denmark is area code number 60. So you can fill in multiple translations over here and then document capture will fill that in for you. Adding a field like this is very simple. Uh, it will only take a minute or so and you can do it with every dimension that you make. Um, 
We hope that you like uh, these series. Uh, on our YouTube page, we'll be adding more and more of these demo movies uh, so that you can have easy access to this functionality. For now, I wish you all uh, a nice day. And if you have any questions, please contact your local partner or contact Continia. Have a nice day.